Google dropped three AI tools that could replace half of your software stack. And most business owners have no idea they exist. I'm talking about building complete apps from a single sentence, AI agents that write and test their own code, and a context window so massive you can feed it your entire company handbook. If you've been waiting for AI to actually deliver on its promises, this is it. I'm Tim, founder of AI Operator. We help companies implement AI across their operations, not just experiment with it, but actually deploy it. This video is for you if you're an SMB founder, operations leader, or consultant who wants to understand what these tools actually do. Not just the hype, but the practical applications. By the end of this video, you'll know which tool to use for which business problem, the features that actually matter versus marketing fluff, and exactly how to get started today. Most of this is free. Here's what we're covering. One, Gemini 3 Pro, Google's most advanced AI model and why the 1 million token context window changes everything. Two, Google AI Studio, the no-code platform that lets you build AI apps by describing them in plain English. Three, Anti-Gravity, Google's new IDE where AI agents write, run, and test code autonomously. I'll show you each one live, walk through real business use cases, compare them to tools you already know like ChatGPT and Cloud, and give you the honest limitations. Let's dive in. What is Gemini 3 Pro? All right, first up, Gemini 3 Pro. This dropped in November 2025 and is genuinely a step change from previous versions. Here's what matters. 1 million token context window. That's roughly 700,000 words. You can feed it entire books, policy manuals, years of meeting notes. Multimodal. Text, images, video, audio, code, all in one conversation. Agentic capabilities. It doesn't just chat. It can actually do things with tools and APIs. Think about that context window for a second. Gemini 3 Pro is at 1 million. That means you could literally upload your entire company knowledge base and ask questions against it. No chunking, no retrieval systems. Just ask. Let me tell you about something wild. Google also dropped Deep Think Mode. It's like chain of thought reasoning, but on steroids. You can only access this if you have a Gemini Ultra plan at the moment. Agentic tool use. Now here's where it gets really interesting for business use. Gemini 3 can use tools autonomously. What does that mean in practice? It means you can have Gemini sort and respond to emails, schedule meetings based on context, search for information and compile it, run code and fix errors. AI agent equals chat plus action. It's not just a chatbot anymore. It's more like a junior employee who can actually execute tasks under your supervision. Business use cases for Gemini 3 Pro. Let me give you the real world applications I'm most excited about. Knowledge management. Feed your entire policy manual, product documentation, and FAQ database into one context. Now anyone in your company can ask natural language questions and get accurate answers. No more hunting through SharePoint. Custom support. Build support bots that actually understand nuance. Because of the reasoning capability, it can handle multi-part questions and edge cases that would break simpler chatbots. Content generation at scale. Marketing teams can use this to produce campaign drafts, add variations, even full press releases, all aligned to brand guidelines you provide in the context. Rapid prototyping. And this is the big one. You can literally describe an app idea and have Gemini generate a working first version. They call this vibe coding, and we'll see more of it in AI Studio. Gemini 3 Pro, honest limitations. Now, the honest downsides, rate limits on free tier. Google had to pull back access due to demand. Free users get limited daily prompts. Not always available. The deep think mode can have wait times during peak hours, and right now, only Gemini Ultra members have access to it. Requires prompting skill. Garbage in, garbage out. You need to give it good context to get good output. Bottom line, best for complex reasoning, large context analysis, and agentic workflows. Quick question for you. Have you tried Gemini 3 yet? Drop a comment below and let me know how it compares to whatever you're currently using. I read every comment. All right, next up, Google AI Studio. This is where things get really practical for business operators. Think of AI Studio as your AI playground and your no-code app builder in one. It launched in late 2023, but the updates in late 2025 made it genuinely powerful. The killer feature, 
You can go from an idea to a deployed web application without writing a single line of code. Let me show you around. This is the new unified playground. From one interface, you can access Gemini for text AI, Gen Media Models, that's Nano Banana Pro for images, VO for video, text to speech for audio and voiceover, live models for streaming applications. So I could start here with Gemini, get my product description, then switch to image generation to create a visual, then generate a video clip, then add a voiceover, all in one continuous session. For marketing teams, this is massive. You could rough out an entire campaign in one sitting. Now, this is what you came for, build mode. Let's type, create an interactive landing page for an AI consulting company, include a hero section with a headline about transformation, three service cards with icons, a contact form, and make it look modern and professional. Watch what happens. It's not just generating code. It's selecting the right models, wiring up the components, handling the styling. Look at that. That's a functional landing page from one sentence. Google demoed building a playable 3D space game from a single prompt. This is vibe coding. You describe the vibe, the AI codes it. A few more features that matter for business use. System instructions. You can save templates, so if you need every chatbot to follow your company's compliance rules, save that as a system instruction and apply it to every project. Consistency at scale. Google Maps grounding. You can connect real-world location data to your apps. Build a travel assistant, a store locator, a delivery tracker, anything that needs geolocation. Usage analytics. There's now a dashboard showing your API usage and rate limits. Critical if you're managing costs or planning to scale. One click deploy. When you're done, hit deploy and it's live. Prototype to production in minutes, not months. Business use cases for AI Studio. Real applications. Internal tool prototyping. Your HR team wants a chatbot for employee FAQs. Your sales team needs a proposal generator. Non-technical staff can build these themselves now. Marketing content machine. Create an entire campaign draft in one session. Copy images, video, voiceover, one person doing the work of a creative team. Custom service bots. Connect Gemini to your documentation, set up system instructions for tone and compliance, and you have a support assistant that actually knows your product. Workflow automation. Build tools that query databases, generate reports, process uploads, all without traditional development. AI Studio, honest limitations. The downsides. Learning curve. The interface is powerful, but can feel overwhelming at first. Output quality varies. Complex apps still need refinement. Don't expect production-ready code for enterprise applications. Rate limits. Free tier is limited. Heavy usage requires paid plans. Gemini versus ChatGPT versus Claude. Okay, the comparison you've been waiting for. How does this stack up against ChatGPT and Claude? Use Gemini 3 when you need massive context, analyzing huge documents, company-wide knowledge bases, or when you need agentic execution within Google's ecosystem. Use ChatGPT when you want the broadest connector ecosystem and you're already in the OpenAI workflow. Use Claude when you need exceptional writing quality or you're doing deep analysis on moderate length content. The real answer, use all three for what they're best at. I do. If you're finding this valuable, hit subscribe. I put out practical AI implementation content every week, not hype, but actual tutorials and strategies you can use. Now let's talk about the most mind-bending tool in this lineup, Google Anti-Gravity. What is Anti-Gravity? This is a brand new AI-powered IDE that launched in November, 2025. Now, if you're not a developer, don't click away. This matters for everyone who manages developers or runs a tech-enabled business. Anti-Gravity isn't just a code editor with AI suggestions. It's a platform where AI agents autonomously write, run, and test code. You tell it what you want, it figures out how to build it. There are two main interfaces. The editor view, this looks like a normal code editor. VS code style, smart completions, inline suggestions, the usual AI co-pilot stuff. I could have agent A writing a new feature, agent B running test on another module, agent C fixing a bug in the backend, all at the same time. Each agent has access to the editor, the terminal, and a browser. They can write code, run it, and verify it works by actually using the application. Live demo, agent workflow. Let me show you what this looks like. Add a dark mode toggle to this application, update the CSS, add the toggle button to the navigation, 
and verify it works in the browser. Watch what happens. The agent is reading the code base to understand the structure, modifying the CSS file, adding the toggle component, starting the development server, opening a browser to test its own work. And look, it produces an artifact. That's not just logs. That's a screenshot proving the feature works. This is the shift. The AI isn't just suggesting code. It's executing the entire workflow a developer would do and then showing you proof. The artifact system is crucial. Nobody wants to read through endless logs. Artifacts can include implementation plans, test results, screenshots of the running app. You review the artifact, not the logs. If something's wrong, you can comment directly like Google Docs and the agent adjusts. Why should you care if you're not a developer? One, development velocity. Your development team can two to three X their output. One developer supervising multiple AI agents accomplishes what to use to take a whole team. Two, maintenance and bug fixes. All those annoying bugs that pile up because developers are focused on features, assign them to agents. The AI reproduces the bug, finds the cause, fixes it, and proves the fix works. Three, DevOps and IT automation. Agents can execute terminal commands, manage deployments, even coordinate cloud infrastructure. One demo showed an agent diagnosing a live cloud run performance issue by connecting to security scanners and suggesting the fix automatically. Four, parallel experimentation. Want to test two different approaches to a feature? Spawn two agents with different approaches and compare the results. A, B, test your code architecture in real time. Anti-gravity, honest limitation. The honest take, still in preview. Expect bugs and rough edges. This is not production ready enterprise software yet. Requires developer oversight. You can't just set it and forget it. Someone technical needs to review the app. Compute costs. Running multiple agents burns through credits. Monitor your usage. Model limitations. Even with Gemini 3 Pro, complex enterprise code bases will still trip it up. Bottom line, best for development teams looking to multiply their output and automate routine coding tasks. Let's bring it all together. Here is when to use what? Gemini 3 Pro. Use it for reasoning heavy tasks, massive document analysis, and when you need AI that can take actions, agentic workers. Access through the Gemini app, AI Studio or API. Google AI Studio. Use it for prototyping AI-powered apps without coding, multimodal content generation, and when you want to go from idea to deploy the application fast. Anti-gravity. Use it if you have a development team and want to multiply their output. It's an AI-powered development partner, not just an assistant. And here's the best part. All three have free tiers. You can start experimenting today at no cost. All right, let's recap. Google dropped three tools that represent a genuine shift in how businesses can leverage AI. One, Gemini 3 Pro gives you a model that can think through complex problems and hold your entire knowledge base in context. Two, Google AI Studio lets anyone, not just developers, build AI-powered application by describing them in plain English. Three, Anti-gravity turns AI from an assistant into an autonomous development partner. If you're running a business and you're not exploring these tools right now, you're leaving massive efficiency gains on the table. Here's your action item. Pick one of these tools and try it this week. Just one. Go to aistudio.google.com. It's free and build something. Even if it's just a simple chatbot or a landing page. The gap between companies using AI and companies ignoring it is about to get a lot wider. Don't be on the wrong side. If you want more content like this, practical AI implementation, not hype, subscribe and turn on notifications. I've got deep dives coming on how to actually deploy these tools in a business context. Drop a comment below. Which of these three tools are you most excited to try? I'll reply to everyone. I'm Tim from AI Operator. Go build something.